All right. Hey, Scorpio, you guys. Uh, happy Father's Day to the dads that are showing up here. Um, I apologize. I wasn't able to get these out last night. I always kind of overshoot. So this is going to be your guys' uh, What's Your Magic read. And um, if this does not resonate, please check any major placements um, in, in your uh, birth chart, any planetary placement that's significant to you. All right. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm only going to pull a certain thing. Wow. Oh, that's so crazy. This card just came out for cancer too. Um, anyways, uh, you're only going to resonate by the energy that you've been embodying as of late. Okay. But you got passion coming through with card 11. Rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. So truly, I just feel like there's just this un un an unbridled passion to want to learn more about what you embody, what you hold and what your purpose is here in life. Okay. Now, I guess one thing I should have mentioned to Cancer is that this is not the only gift that you have. We have the unlimited possibilities, all right, to really open up and access everything within us. Um, it just depends on where we're at with our journey, okay? So um, this, uh, these next few cards I'm going to pull is your energy as of late, but it's also going to show us um, who's walking with you. So you have the Archangel Hanel and our I'm sorry, Archangel Ariel walking with you. So you got the High Priestess card coming through like, wow, um, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information and be at peace. So this is the energy that you have been embodying as of late, really trying to tune into your gifts, showing um, the world, sharing with the world, sharing with your friends and family, your gifts. We have the Ace of Ariel. Um, it is your lucky day, new resources of money, time and support, a change in job or promotion. So this this could be too telling you that when you um, start to take off on your own spiritual path um, and, 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 and embrace that and turn it into a business, right? Because we're here um, for sure on this spiritual journey, but whatever it is that you put your mind to, this is confirmation Scorpio with this ace of Ariel comparable to the ace of coins. All right. New beginnings. Um, this is going to be a path that is very, very fruitful for you. Once you uh, are, once you're able to establish um, and, 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 and take off with it that those are very very positive cards and your the, the fact that you're embodying the high priestess just shows how um how how in tune with yourself that you truly are okay so i'm going to pull um an activation card for you and this is going to just activate you in some sort of way and the idea is to look at the image because that that's going to go through to your subconscious. Uh, so like, you know, when you sleep, so there's going to be even more insights to help you along your way. All right. So your activation card is coming through with isolation, loneliness, reconnection and home. All right. So you guys could just be um, a part of the star seed journey um, just as well. Right. Um, kind of longing for that, really connecting with the moon and the stars too. Um, with the isolation and loneliness, reconnection and home, here's what I'm going to say. I just feel so compelled to kind of turn it into a positive because I'm a Scorpio myself and I, I love, I love being alone. Alone. I really do. It's almost like it's a, a hindrance for people to come and visit me. And I've, you know, been called out on being a hermit and being um, um, just not a, per a people person, just, a, you know, I'm, I'm not being, uh, you know, uh, even my neighbors, you know, oh, you're being, um, uh, what is it called? Isolating your being, um, whatever it's called when you don't want to associate with people, you know, but it's, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes I guess it could be when you, uh, uh, completely shut everyone out, but it's like, you know, I don't feel that the isolation that you're embodying right now is a bad thing. I don't, I'm not getting that negative energy. I do feel that while in isolation, you are really tuning into reconnection and even into home planets. All right. Um, you know, if you guys have not looked into star seeds and that whole bit, um, that's going to be huge for you um, to look into. Okay. So isolation, loneliness, reconnection, home, you guys could actually be really connected, connected to wolves. You could have spirit guides coming through as a wolf. Um, so let's just see what's going to help you along your journey. This is the star seed oracle, oracle that I'm pulling from. So this is going to be what can help you, um, along your journey. So we're going to pull two cards. We have, I remember it coming through the soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life. 
all right i remember and just look at these images you guys because these are going to come through dreams meditation and whatnot and this right here all right is going to help activate more of your own gifts and your purpose and then we have water your garden nourishment body care tenderness and rest so for those of you who are embarking on your spiritual journey um you know being an empath is going to tie that's going to be like the number one the number one so it's just making sure that you're you're cleansing energy take a bath a salt bath meditate grounding um but just make sure you're really taking care of yourself getting that extra rest all right because that's what's going to help you along your journey okay and for your magic let's see what comes through for scorpio If you guys um, enjoy this read, please leave a comment or a like so that I know to keep doing them. Uh, it's Everybody gets tied up in love and I, I felt bad because I have so many decks that I have not been able to use just because I, I'm, I, I know what people want to see, and um, but it's not really fair. So uh, as long as I get um, some good feedback, you guys, of course, I'll keep doing these. Wow. Okay, so here's what we're doing. So the first card coming through, um, this is going to be your magic gift right here. We have card 30, um, and this is healing. So you are a healer. That's going to be a huge part of your magical gifts. All right, and with this healing card coming through, make sure you're paying attention to the, um, the energy of the card uh, because this is going to show uh, it's, it's chakras, right? But this is like, this is going to be from the earth star. I mean, that shoots past, it surpasses the crown chakra, goes to the soul star, the galactic, the universal, all those chakras. So with healing, um, energy rebalance. So just pay attention to what I'm saying with this card. So it, being able to rebalance energies, energetic awareness, healing yourself and others and exploring healing modalities, Reiki, the chakra system, your unique and innate ability to, ability to heal, color vibration, soul sovereignty, auras, and the meridian system, which is here on earth. So you guys have to look into this um, because there's another card that's coming through here that's going to be very, very unique and special to you. Um, aligning the highest good and optimal health. So the Lemurians were well, well versed in the practice of healing arts. They're naturally intuitive and accustomed to navigating the energetic based realities. We all have natural healing abilities that are advanced when we deepen our energetic awareness. When we perceive the world beyond our more well known senses, so we start to receive information and wisdom that is different from which stems from intellect by tapping into life force consciousness and using this abounding energy alongside focused intention we find that everything is possible um you guys so um eric ho on youtube um he actually does these meditations like he, he does energy meditations that help us connect to these gifts all right where we're we're making energy balls in our hands and putting that energy back into our hearts and just really um, looking at that divine power within us so you guys are going to be hugely hugely connecting to the chakra system and i feel that if you're able to travel you guys uh if you're able to and you have money to travel like um look up um, uh, where the, the, um, earthbound chakras are, because just like the human body, um, the earth has, uh, these chakra placements and that has something strongly, strongly to do with star seeds. All right. And that star seed card is coming out with you guys, uh, as a part of the star seed. Um, so Scorpio, this is not something I'm going to share with everybody. Uh, but if you guys want an in-depth look at your starseed star seed origin, an in-depth, I'm talking uh, up to 13 pages, I can create your starseed chart, but I, I can't do it for free just because they're so time-consuming. All right, but if you guys can donate five or ten bucks, email me your date of birth, time of birth, and uh, time of birth and place of birth, and I can get you your accurate readings to show you where you have incarnated in this lifetime. But I can't do it for free, okay, you guys? Um, I apologize for putting that out here. I don't usually try to do that on my videos, but um, Scorpio, you're you're connecting to the star seed realm right here. All right, so um, the tool that's coming through to, to connect with the divine um, is um, she, the Lotus, which also came out in Cancers. So shadow work, addressing dissonance dissonance seeing downfalls as the flip side of superpowers loving yourself back to wholeness 
The beauty of the lotus that grows in murky water is disempowering triggers and bringing light into your own dark corners. So um, this right here, um, this card is just really, it's like the Scorpio, right? Or the Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is your card right here. You guys are able to transmute um, and balance, you know, hey, um, where there's dark, there, you know, if there's, if, if, if there is no, no, no dark, there can't be light. If, you know, without bad, there can't be good and so on and so forth. Right. And you guys, um, this is coming through as, um, the tool for connecting to divine, um, uh, really addressing the dissonance and, um, turning, um, even the disappointing um, aspects of life into, you know, transmuting that into something good. Also too, when you're in meditation, connecting to spirit guides, ancestors, even in asking them to take back the, um, the situations that you feel like are, are in your DNA, like cellular, because we carry, um, we carry this energy from our ancestors from, you know, 2000 years ago. Um, and, and really, if you're not feeling quite whole for some reason, it's connecting with those ancestors and, and asking them to take back any, any negative, um, feelings that you have inside of you. You can't place your finger on it and asking them to take back that, um, energy because there's nothing that you can do with it. All right. And then, um, for, your insight to connecting with spirit guides. So you guys come in through with this card, Starseed Elemental. Um, it, it means that you do have, um, you have connections, all right, to the star systems, okay? So um, that in itself is going to be huge for you. So uh, with this card, children as teachers, okay? Fun, lightheartedness, joy, laughter, newly incarnated souls, the child within, maintaining an inquisitive perspective, wonder, and imagination. Um, star seeds, star seed beings, you guys, I feel like this is coming out through you. This is you. Um, but also you need to be aware and know that um, you have um, these, here's what I'll say. I'm going to say like alien guides uh, because that's what people would call them um, that, that are here and they're for the positive. Okay. Star seeds. They're going to be huge and important for you to connect with on your path, especially to um, show. So it's like these beings right here are um, light body beings, which is what humans used to be. But because um, we have uh, tuned into the matter and not really believing in something, if we can't touch it and feel it. All right. Um, so that that belief is what changed us and made us these um, there. We're not we're not light bodies anymore. We're covered with skin. You know, we're. Um, these beings right here, you can see the, the, the blue light, all right, the, the love that, that just transmute off of these beings. Um, and I feel that, that the higher you can connect and be in that, be in, in your own love, because that's the biggest gift that we can give. Um, it's truly going to, it's just going to blow out of the water for you where your, your full blown potential comes in, if that makes sense. Um, so it, here's what I want to say, and I'm not trying to sound, um, uppity or anything, but it's like Jesus Christ being able to heal with his hands. I feel like that's what's coming through right here for you, Scorpio. All right. So, um, your magic is going to be balancing, being able to balance, uh, chakras, um, you know, balance the auras, um, that people have, um, and, and cleansing them with the Reiki healing to, to get that aura back into, uh, um, a balanced position for these people. And I, you're just going to be able to do powerful, powerful things with that healing magic coming through. All right. So I'm going to pull an ascended master card for you and we're going to see who's coming through for Scorpio. These, this is a very, very powerful deck. You guys, I love it. You guys are coming through with animals. So like humans, animals have come to Earth on their own soul journey, originating from many planets and universes. Some animals are here to learn while others here to solely teach or enlighten us. Because they are heart-centered, animals on this planet are designed to have experiences that are different from ours. The way in which we treat animals profoundly affects their ascension path as well as our own. Your guidance for today is to call in Archangel Flea, 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 
um, angel of animals to look after them, Archangel Michael to protect them, and the unicorns to enlighten them. And your affirmation is, I honor and respect all animals. And that's um, obviously not going to come through for everybody. Not everybody's going to resonate the, the healing aspect of magic with animals, but some of you guys could actually be um, healing with animals, um, able to telepathically communicate with animals just as well. All right. And um, it's really crazy because what's coming into my mind right now is um, uh, I'm seeing somebody, you know, with their hands and communicating with like a dog and the dog being able to tell them where there's pain and this person's just kind of, um, you know, doing this energy healing. So some of you guys could be connecting that healing um, to actual animals because of your ability to telepathically communicate with animals. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I love you guys so much. I, I was just looking at the wolf too. Um, I hope you comment guys and let me know if I, if this is something you want to keep seeing. Thank you guys.